All right, another Facebook user asks, what certifications do you recommend to get first for cloud stuff? Yeah, for cloud stuff, I would say it depends first if you wanna be cloud agnostic, meaning everybody's certifications, or do you wanna go into a specific pipe like AWS, Azure, or GCP? If you're brand new to the cloud and you're not sure what you wanna do and you're not sure where to go, I would recommend checking out our Cloud Essentials course, which is a CompTIA certification. You don't necessarily need to sit for the certification itself if you don't want to. I'll be honest, no one is going to hire you because you got your Cloud Essential certification. No one's going to care. I'll tell you that right now. But the information you will learn in that course is invaluable because we cover all three of those cloud platforms, AWS, Azure, and GCP. So you can understand a lot of the basics and how the cloud works and get your feet under you. And I think on Udemy, it sells for $10 or $20 for that course. It's very inexpensive. You can find it at deontraining.com slash Udemy. Scroll down until you find Cloud Essentials and you'll find it there. Do you, if you want to take the certification or not, totally up to you, but I would definitely go through the course. And that'll also give you a good introduction to the cloud. And we actually go in and do a lot of demonstrations in AWS in that course, myself and Jamario, to show you how to set up VMs, how to do routing, how to do DNS, all that kind of stuff is covered in there. Then once you decide which of those three paths you want to go in, because cloud is really a tri-monopoly. There's three different companies that really have the most market share. And as I said, AWS is number one, followed closely by Azure, and then way down the list, GCP, Google Cloud. Then you can figure out which of those three you want to go with. Based on which one you want to go with, I would go through at least the course for AZ900 for Azure or AWS Cloud Practitioner to get the knowledge. And then the next level up, which is the associate level, is going to be the first one that people are really going to start hiring you based on because that's where you're gonna start getting your hands in the door and be able to be a cloud administrator. So that would be my recommendation is, at a minimum, you want the associate level. If you're already studying for practitioner, and I would recommend going through it to learn the information, deciding whether or not to take the exam or not is really an up to you thing. The knowledge that you're gonna get in that course is gonna be really valuable to you and really open up the world of AWS for you. Job posting is always gonna be the associate levels. You're never gonna see the practitioner on there. You may see onesies and twosies out there, but it's definitely going to be the associates. And then you said cloud stuff. Like Jason said, the cloud is huge. There's routes. There's so many different jobs in the cloud that you can have. Research those jobs and figure out what specific path you want. And then that'll hone you down to get you into, okay, once I get this associate, get the associate first. And then that, what do you want to do? Well, springboard what you do next. Yeah, because as he said, there is like two, 300 different services, and there are certs specific to security. There are certs specific to storage. There are certs specific to VMs or Docker images. There's certs for all of these things, but Associate kind of opens the door and lays the groundwork where then you can specialize in what you want to go into.